Hey guys, Motocon out here, and today we're gonna, I'm going to show you the tools that you need to set the timing on a BMW N20, N26 engine, four-cylinder 2.0 turbo. Um, there's a kit that you're going to need. I took most of the parts out of it. I can put a link on the kit. It's a full kit. This this has an injection puller, um, but pretty much it's all for the timing. Uh, they have them on Amazon, eBay, uh, 150 bucks or something like that. So if you're going to do this or tackle this job yourself, I'm just showing you what the tools look like and where they go. Okay? So, first tool is top dead center tool. It's like this. Now, you can do this in the car. So you can imagine the exhaust is going to be here with the catalytic converter. There's going to be a little little hole here in here that maybe it's going to have a little plastic fitting if it was never touched you take that out and you put this in you see the hole right there you put this in i'm sorry there you go and what that does of course you have to rotate the um crankshaft until you get this hole over here you see this hole? Uh, there's other holes here, like these holes, but these are these are not for that. The pin won't go in those. It's only gonna go in the top dead center hole. Now, that's that hole for the top dead center. I'm gonna show you a couple of things not to do, which this engine somebody did. The bolt, the crank pulley bolt, has about almost 500 pounds of force on it. It's extremely tight. All right, when you loosen that bolt, Somebody, for some reason, used this, all right, as a tool to hold the crank. And that's not what you do. This is just an alignment tool. It bent it. Not only did it bend it, it made the hole in here. If you can see over here, all right, in here, where this goes, right in here, it's hard to see it. There's a chunk of, 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 of aluminum that's missing because... They put so much pressure that it broke the hole and that because this is a precision hole when it goes in it's a pretty thick hole it's a pretty thick hole so when you put when you put this in it doesn't move a little bit now when i put it in all right it moves up and down like that so now where's top dead center it's a problem because they broke the damn thing all right so i had to reset this thing with a, with a timing wheel okay that's a different video so anyway Point being is to avoid that because what happens now? This block is garbage now, all right? Because a regular mechanic with this car, with this in the car is never going to be able to set the timing, all right? Okay, it can go down in here. So I have it here where it's perfectly aligned again. Okay, that's the one. That's one tool. Now the tool that holds the crankshaft so you can get that bolt off is this. Now. Underneath, underneath the car, in the transmission, you're going to see an oblong hole that's similar to this. It's a rubber plug. You take that plug out. This slips in. These teeth grab the flywheel over here on the bottom, right? Then you tighten this down, and this stays in there. And then this locks the, uh, the crank so you can take that bolt off. Not that pin. A lot of people use that. A lot of mechanics use it. I don't know why. That pin can't hold 500 pounds of force. All right. Well, it doesn't say 500 pounds. It says you put it to 140 and then you got to torque at 270 degrees. That, that's about 500 pounds right there. Anyway, okay, so you're going to need this tool. This is also included in the kit. All right. On the bottom, if you're going to change the oil pump, which is right here, here's another kit, another tool, I mean, that goes in here. These little things go in here, this goes here, and you put two 10 millimeter screws here so you can take that bolt out, okay? Then there's the um, oil pump housing over here. This is the counterbalance shafts. There's a pin that goes in there, you take out the filter, all right? It's a little pin that goes in there with a little nut to keep the balancer in timing. It has to be a certain way. When you turn it, you're gonna see a little hole that this slips into so you know it's at top dead center. That's that tool. There's also a little chain adjuster right here. You see that? This chain adjuster has to go in and this little pin 
goes in the hole here, all right? And it keeps the um, adjuster in so you can take that gear off, okay? This is another tool that's also included in the kit. Then you have the top tool that locks in the cams at the precise angle that they want it, top dead center, all right? It's like a little fork. It goes in here and locks that cam. And same thing on the intake side. Okay, you lock it in, you keep it down, it keeps it nice and straight. Then you lock this down to the block, to the head, nice and tight. Then for the venos, this over here, I took one of them off because one of them is bad. It's gonna have little pins here on this tool that correspond with these, these pins right here. There's gonna be one here and one on the exhaust side. The pins right there. All right, and then you line them up. You make sure that they're in where they're supposed to be. Then you tighten this down and that keeps them in alignment. And also, it's also, uh, so you can talk these, uh, these oil control solenoids down too, okay? So that it serves a couple of purposes. But basically this tool is just for the, um, to align up the, uh, the venos right here, okay? So that's that tool. Then, when you have the timing chain on, let me put a little, okay. All right, you're gonna have to use, this is like a temporary tool that replaces the uh, tensioner when you're lining up the uh, engine because when you're lining up the engine, this tensioner obviously, without any oil in it, it moves. Well, when you're lining it up, it can't move. So they give you this tool that looks something like that, but this doesn't move. Because you're gonna put pressure in here to keep tension on the chain once you're doing a whole time, timing alignment. I have a video on how to do that alignment. You can watch it, but this one I'm just showing you all the specialty tools, okay? And now we're talking about just a time and alignment and putting the, putting the engine in top dead center. There's other tools, take the injectors off, I made tools like that. There's for the torsion spring, I have a video on that. For the, those, uh, there's a tool for that. I mean, there's a lot of tools you gotta use on these uh, engines, but thanks to the, you know, the, uh, the Chinese market, you can get them pretty cheap. Like I said, this is 150 bucks. We have the other tools, you know, if you're gonna need them. It depends if you're gonna do a complete rebuild, but this was just to show you the top dead center tools to do the timing chain. All right, so those are the tools you need. And what I did is I took one of those uh, tools just to lock it down over here. All right, so it doesn't move and everything like that. But again, do not use that alignment pin over here to take off that crankshaft bolt. Well, you're gonna have major problems. That's why I had to actually pull this engine out. To, I mean, well, it had other problems. But uh, to get that lined up, because if it's off, as soon as you start it, you're going to have a valve train malfunction code, and you're not going to want that. All right, guys, so those are the tools. I'll leave a link for this kit. It all comes nice and neat in the kit over here. They have smaller kits, but if you're going to keep the car and you, and you tackle this job yourself, you're going to want to get the bigger kit. All right, so motor car and up, please subscribe, hit the like button, any questions pertaining to the video. I answer all my questions, try to anyway, keep you guys back, get you guys back on the road. And if you learned something, I'd appreciate a super thanks or donate, donation to the channel. All right, guys, see you in the next video. Thank you.